Donald Trump spoke to Stuart Varney of Fox Business Network and weighed in on Obama's economic speech. He said one thing that really piqued my interest. Let's listen. Well, he's going to have to change course if we're going to get this country going again, if we're going to get it working again. The country is not working, and the people in the country, many of them, are not working. And that's both by their choice and actually by his choice. I mean, there's a lot of incentive not to work, because you can do better sometimes if you don't work than if you do. And we're going to have to change the incentives in this country to get people back to work and to get people wanting to work again, because a lot of them just don't want to work. They do better if they don't work. I... He just said the president of the United States wants higher unemployment. Really? Really, Donald? I mean, think about that. So what Obama wants to do, keep unemployment high so that when he gets out of office, he, he's uh, well known for being a president that had high unemployment. That's what Obama wants his legacy to be? Hi, my name's uh, Barack. I was an economic failure. Nice to meet you. But you just said that. You just said you think the president wants higher unemployment. Are you really that stupid? So uh, just once, what I would like to see is I need a journalist to hear that talking point, because we hear that talking point all the time, the point that, oh, people don't, people don't want to work because they do better when they don't work. <laughs> it's the old, oh, the, the poor people are actually doing just swell, and they got the TV on, and they're just laying back and relaxing, and the government funds them just being, just doing whatever they want, smoking weed and relaxing. Uh, I've heard that so many times from Republicans. Just once, I would like to hear a journalist uh, ask a follow-up question and say, okay, give me one example of when that happened. Just one, just one specific example that we can verify, so we not you're just so we know you're not just repeating an old platitude or cliche, and we know that you're not saying something that's empirically uh, incorrect. But they won't be able to give you an example. Why? Because that's not the reality. So food stamps, for example, people get four dollars and fifty cents a day to eat. Whoa! Don't, don't get that lobster, or that filet mignon. Oh, I'm so jealous of you, man. That four dollars and fifty cents. Congressmen did the challenge where they lived on food stamps for an extended period of time, and a lot of them said they had hunger pains. They couldn't focus and they couldn't work because they felt like they were sick. Okay, so take, another, so take unemployment, for example. I've been on unemployment briefly. Now, what happens is you have to work for, at least in New York State, you have to work for a couple years before you can get unemployment, and then when you get unemployment, it's only a certain amount of money and it runs out fairly quickly, and you have to reach all these benchmarks like look for a certain uh, amount of jobs, go for interviews, so on and so forth. So, uh, first of all, I paid taxes the entire time I was working, so when I was unemployed, I was just simply getting back the money I paid in, so it's got nothing to do with being a moocher, being a parasite. And second of all, again, there's so many different requirements and it's so little money that they make it so nobody's envious of it. It's literally something you go to when something goes bad, when things go bad and you have nowhere else to go and you need it, right? But see, Donald Trump looks at food stamps, looks at unemployment benefits, looks at the tiny amount of money that welfare gives you, and say, no, these guys love it. They're living in luxury. They probably have, like, yachts and boats and flat screen TVs and all these things. And I'm jealous. I'm jealous. All right, Donald, so if you're jealous of them, and you just said there's incentive for people not to work overworking. If that's true, if there is that incentive, then why are you working? Go ahead. Go join them. Go join them. Go just sit around all day and do whatever you want. But see, that's the thing. People aren't just sitting around all day. Did you know there's more job openings? I'm sorry, there's more uh, people than uh, job openings. So even if everybody wanted to immediately, oh, I gotta go get a job, they wouldn't be able to. There's not enough jobs. But Trump looks at you and says, oh, you're, you're a lazy moocher. You wanna sit on the couch all day and the government subsidizes you and takes care of you. No, they do not. Being in poverty is not an envious situation, Donald. And by the way, the uh, safety net in the United States is the most meager and cheap of all of the modernized industrial worlds. But is it the case that everybody in France is sitting at home all day? Is everybody in Britain sitting at home all day, or Denmark, or Sweden? No, they're working. The overwhelming majority is working in all of these places. And let's be clear. Uh, even if there's 1% of people, or let's go take it a step further, much bigger than it actually is. Let's say 5% of people that use the government safety net uh, do take advantage of it, and do become moochers and say, fuck it, I'll do this the rest of my life. Do you really want to hurt the 95% of people that need it in, on hard times just so you can say fuck you to the 1% or 5% that checked out of the system? We had that system before, Donald. That system was the Great Depression. 
You're envious of the Great Depression? I believe my point is crystal clear. But just know, his entire spiel about the president wants higher unemployment, uh, people sitting at home are incentivized to stay at home and not go to work, everything he said was untrue. Everything he say, said was that old uh, Republican platitude and cliche, uh, that liberals are lazy and the, the, the Democratic president doesn't even want to do well. <laughs> yeah, well, Republicans are great. <laughs>